Hi everyone, my name's Emily and I'm Assistant Project Worker on Connections Hub and Rubik Squared, a chilli pep. So as the theme of World Mental Health Day this year is mental health in an unequal world, we thought we would spend some time having a look at some of the wider societal issues that you've identified as impacting your mental health and thinking about ways that we can change them. And we're going to do that through the medium of the problem tree, which you can see behind me. Um, if you've not heard of this before, don't worry, I'm going to talk you through it. It's essentially a framework that a lot of our groups use, especially the Gen Z campaigns group, to think in more depth about some issues that might impact them and then using our skills and our knowledge to change them in a positive and meaningful way. So I'm going to take you through this one as my example and then we're going to create some together. So here we have my problem tree in its full form. It does look somewhat like a broccoli, but I think we're going to go with it. <laughs> and as you can see there in the middle, the issue that I've chosen to focus on today is the way climate change impacts mental health. So that's the trunk. So that's kind of the core of our issue. And then the different parts of the tree basically represent the different components that we're going to have a look at in more depth today. So at your roots here at the bottom, you've got your causes of the issue in the middle. The leaves represent the effects. So how that impacts us and our mental health. And then the butterflies that you can see at the top there basically represent our values and ways that we might look to change the issue at the core. Okay, so we're going to start by having a look at some of the root causes of why climate change impacts our mental health. Obviously, there's going to be more than four and it's going to look different for everybody. Um, so you might not necessarily agree with the ones that we've chosen or you might be able to think of some others. But we're just going to focus on these four to give you an idea of how the problem tree works. So with the roots, you want to kind of identify why it's a problem in the first place. So what are some of the reasons that climate change impacts our mental health? So the ones that we've identified are feeling like you have no power, being unable to reverse the effects, not being able to do more and that uncertainty about the future as well. So next, we're going to take a look at our leaves, which represent the impact that our issue at the centre has on the world. And I'm sure everyone can relate to these feelings in some way as well when we're thinking about climate change. So we've got worry about the future, anger at older generations. Obviously, some of the impacts of climate change are now irreversible and feeling guilty because sustainability, although it's great, it's not always the easiest or the cheapest option. Last but not least, we've got our butterflies, which are our values. So we're going to be thinking about why the issue is important to us and what do we want to campaign on to change it. So we've got here better understanding of how climate change impacts mental health, advocating for ourselves and future generations to make a positive change. We want to see policies implemented by our government to tackle climate change and we want to feel like we can make a difference and see that positive change at an individual level as well. If you've made it to the end, well done and thank you very much for coming with me on my problem tree journey today. This was not without reason and um, we are going to be creating some more based on some of the issues that you've identified in our stories. And if you've got anything you'd like to add to this one that you think is really important and we've missed it, do send us a DM because we would love to hear it. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thank you.